Hey, hello. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to solve few problems related to the concept of energy, uh, in particular, kinetic energy and uh, potential energy. So let's begin. The first question, a boy of mass 40 kilogram is running at one meter per second inside his classroom, which is on the second floor of his school. If each floor is 12 meter above the one below it, find this kinetic energy and potential energy okay so we need to find both kinetic energy and as well as potential energy they are given the mass so let me uh, write down the given data first okay let us consider the given data okay the mass of the boy okay m is equal to 40 kilograms okay and he is running at one meter per second which we can consider as the velocity of the boy who is running okay one meter per second inside his classroom which is on the second floor okay this is very important second floor of his school if each floor is 12 meter above the one below it okay so each floor is around 12 meter okay so he is in this now this is the ground floor first floor and the second floor okay each floor is around 12 meter okay 12 meter now if each floor is 12 meter above the one below it find its kinetic energy so first let us find out the kinetic energy of the boy so we know the formula of kinetic energy it is half into mass into velocity square okay v is nothing but velocity so is equal to half into what is the mass it's 40 kilogram into velocity is one the whole square okay so half into 40 into 1 okay so two ones are two two twenties are 40 so 20 joules will be the kinetic energy of the boy okay so now moving on to the next one let us find out the potential energy okay so potential energy the formula of potential energy is nothing but mass into g acceleration due to gravity into height okay so now in this case i'm going to consider the acceleration due to gravity as 9.8 meter per second square okay i'm going to take the <clears throat> exact value as 9.8 so mass it's 40 into 9.8 into okay now what is the height okay now he is in the second floor okay now he's in the second floor the total height will be 24 meters because they have given very clearly if each floor is 12 meter above the one now he's in the second floor so from the ground floor to first floor 12 and from the first floor to second floor again 12 so totally the height will be 24 meters okay so if we multiply these three values we'll be getting the potential energy of the boy at that particular height so 40 into 9.8 into 24 it's nothing but 9408 joules okay so this will be the potential energy of the boy at, the, at that particular height okay so moving on to the second one a box with five marbles is at a height of 50 meters if each marble weighs 25 kilograms how much potential energy does the box of marbles have so we need to find out the potential energy what is the given data here we have got the height okay it's 50 meters and we have got the mass of one marble okay mass of one marble okay it's only one marble it is 25 kilograms okay and in that particular box there are totally five marbles okay now let us find out the potential energy of one marble okay potential energy of one marble is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity that is g into height okay so what is the mass of one marble it is 25 so 25 into 
9.8 which is acceleration due to gravity into what is the height it is 50 meters so 50 okay so if i multiply this values 25 into 9.8 into 50 i'll be getting 12,250 joules okay this is for one marble now what they have asked how much potential energy does the box of marbles have so how many marbles are there it's five so it's very simple we need to multiply the potential energy of one marble into five 12,250 into five which is nothing but 61,250 joules so this will be the potential energy of the five marbles at a height of 50 meters okay moving on to the next one a man is transporting a luggage of mass 4 kilograms and having kinetic energy of 25 joules find out the velocity now they have given the kinetic energy and they have asked us to find out the velocity okay so the given data is mass is equal to 4 kilograms kinetic energy is equal to 25 joules we need to find out the velocity okay fine first let us write down the formula kinetic energy is equal to half into m into v square so we need to find out this velocity value kinetic energy is 25 half into mass is 4 kilograms into v square okay so this will be cancelled okay so 25 is equal to 2 into v square now we need to find the value of v so this 2 will be moving towards the left hand side so when it is moving towards the left hand side 25 divided by 2 is equal to v square so if we divide this value what will we get we'll be getting 12.5 v square now this is in square we need to find the value of v okay so i am writing it this way v square is equal to 12.5 now this square when it is moving to the right hand side okay or the other side okay it will be becoming as square root so v is equal to square root of 12.5 so the answer will be v is equal to 3.535 meter per seconds okay this will be the velocity of the object okay these are the two questions for you people okay find out the kinetic energy of the object moving with a velocity of 5 meter per second of mass 54 kilograms and uh, the second question is a cricket ball is thrown to a height of 20 meters from the surface of the earth the mass is 100 grams calculate its potential energy at that height okay find out the answers and post your uh, answers in the comment section below so finally thank you all have a great day